for me, this trip here isn't so much about sharing Greg and I's long story together of hunting or racing or working together. It's really just about getting out here and spending quality time in, a, in an amazing place with quality people. We've got two machines down right now. We're back remote and without these machines, it's gonna be pretty tough to uh, get out of here. You're in a situation where it's life and death here in the Yukon. You don't have to create drama because it's there. I was elated just to see them. But we tried to pursue a group of animals that they just kept moving away and I really didn't have a, a shot that would make sense so I didn't take it. But eventually Greg spotted two lone bison on a hillside. I think the biggest bull is the one below. We can't see him. He's just down about probably 50 or 60 yards on the other side of that one. Because this wind is coming right here. If we go up over top of them, it'll go right down. So obviously the intention on this hunt is to focus on Brent's bison, but I have a little secret. I've got a bison tag too, so I'm sure everybody's gonna hate me if I, if I do take a, a bison, but um, knowing Greg and knowing me, uh, the difficulty, the adventure, and the potential train wreck that could come if I take a second bison won't be discouraged. Um, <laughs> we're, we're both kind of guilty of pulling that kind of nonsense off. Deep breath, just breathe. Squeeze the trigger. There you go. You hit him. Put another one in him. Cannot <laughs> believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. We worked so hard for this, eh? Oh, we worked so hard. Mwah. <laughs> there you go. Take them. There you go. Now he's perfect. Done. Nice shooting, Rye. Oh, that's awesome. Good job, man. Awesome. I got a feeling we're gonna spend another night like so many others underneath the stars freezing, but man, was that worth it. That's awesome. Good oh. job, guys, both of you. Oh. That's exactly what you want, man. Huge. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. <clears throat> wow. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Look at how old he is. You got yourself a monster. You got a monster, huh? man. Awesome. Well, let's go over and check out Ryan's. That's what we got to do now, too. I think we've forgotten how much work it is. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, thanks, boys. Yeah, that was sure. awesome. That was, that was completely unplanned. This guy just made the mistake of coming uphill onto a flat spot, and I couldn't resist. I was like, when are we going to get the chance to do this again? We never get to hunt no. together. Oh, we'll be cutting our Yukon bison tags, buddy. Let's do it. You definitely earned it today. We all worked hard. Well, this is what happens when you don't quit, and yeah. you just keep going further and further and further than you should. And once you've committed to that point, you might as well take two. As we were going over there, I glassed and saw these two on the side hill and kind of thought that might, this might be our better bet anyway. So when you say side hill, that yeah. gives the wrong impression. We're on the top of a mountain. Bro. <laughs> this is not a side hill. Like a side hill might be something you see in like, Illinois. Yeah. We're, we're like 7,000 feet on the yeah, top yeah. of a mountain. This is just a side hill. Well, that's a monster bison. Ryan just took that one right after my dad took his and um, couldn't be any happier for these two. This isn't Ryan and my first rodeo with a, a double bison down. No. Um, the last time we hunted bison together. Is that right? Yep. We killed two so side by side. this is all your fault. This is <laughs> Greg's fault. Yeah. He just did all the encouraging. Do it, do yeah. it. You're not gonna get a no out of me, so I don't know what you're asking. It was a yes. Yeah. We did it, boys. Yeah, we did it. Another adventure. Nice job, guys. With the McHales. Oh, here. there we go, boy. Thanks for letting me come. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. We're, gonna, we're gonna let Thanks. you do some of the work. Too. Thanks for allowing me to participate. Yeah, you don't worry about that. For me, in a non-hunting role, this has been pretty amazing to be able to be part of your two hunts, your first bison dad. Last night we made the decision to head back to camp just and leave the bison on the mountain. We just had no camp with us and minus 35 is not a good place to be without any kind of shelter. You know, with my dad, you're just really risking things and to put him in that situation would have just been the wrong thing to do for sure. Brent made a great shot, worked hard all day long. Long, long day to get himself into this high country. Uh, was an absolute trooper fighting his way through that. Got in on this bison and made a, made a tremendous shot. It was such an exciting moment to watch Brent and Greg together as, as they realized a the dream come true for Brent. We left dad in the wall tent where it's warm and he can organize camp and I'm sure he'll have some food for us ready when we get back. Now we've got a tremendous amount of work ahead of us today to get these bison dealt with off the mountain, safely back to camp, and then about 60 mile trip out of here once we get to our camp. So long day, but uh, here we are in the Yukon. Beautiful, it's chilly, but uh, spectacular nonetheless. And we've been successful all around for, for Brent, for me, for the whole team. So it's been amazing. <laughs>